played Ethan Winslow of Bond Passions, the heir to the Crane dynasty, who recently made a dramatic decision about his love life. Take a look. I know you gotta go, but before you go, we're gonna have one last glass, okay? You're making such a mess. I know, I know, but it's fun, isn't it? Honey, I can't. Just one. Just one. I promise. Okay. Okay? <laughs> All right, that was great. Now to go with it, one kiss. Just one. Oh. Just one. Eric Martzov. Hey guys. Man, you are one of the best looking guys we've had on this show. Seriously. We got some yeah. good guys on this show. You say that, you don't say that to every single guy. No. I say that to Lisa sometimes. And there's sometimes, a lot of good-looking guys on this show. I heard that, by the way. Ah, um, we have a few. Anyway. <laughs> a few that welcome. act, too. Yes, yeah, okay. a few that act and that are good so actors. what is going on with Ethan? He finally made a decision. He's oh. with Gwen now. But did he? You know? Oh! Always. It's funny. Because, yeah. you know, we go we go to our mailbox. We get our script. We read. And, you know, I got written on top of my Ethan's making a decision, Eric. You know, this is a big episode. Oh. <laughs> and apparently I did. In all the magazines, you know, Ethan chooses his wife. Nice. I chose my wife, you know, as any good fun. guy should do, right? Yeah. Well, a week later, I go to the same mailbox and get another script out, and it basically has me confessing my love to the other woman. <laughs> like, just as quickly as I Did it say on top chose... of the script, Ethan, flip-flops. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, Ethan is the other indecisive. Woman, Teresa, being in Teresa. Yeah, yeah. Teresa Lopez Fitzgerald. You know, it's, it's the eternal battle between his mind, which is with his wife, and his heart. I don't know. He's the most indecisive guy on television. The fans want you with one of them or the other. Who do they want you with? The fans tend to lean towards Teresa. Yeah. Now, would you like to see your character choose? Because i got to tell you, right now, between the two actresses, uh, Liza Huber and Lindsay, I, I mean... That's the tough. They're, yeah. both, they're both yeah. attractive yeah. in their own right. Love scenes with both. It's like, you know, it's like... You know, vanilla and chocolate. They're both very sweet. They're both very tasty. And I don't know where this analogy is going. Yeah, I like but, it. Um, Please, I want to see. I'm following yeah. you. Um, and I love working with both of them, too. Yeah. And, but if, if the triangle ends, like any good triangle, you don't have much of a story. You have a happy couple sitting yeah. on a beach eating strawberries and drinking wine, and that's it. No one wants yeah. to see that. It's called no. back burner. They want to that's see people called. beating <laughs> each other with baseball bats exactly. and bedpans exactly. and stuff. Exactly. That's a soap opera, you know what I'm saying? Now, let me ask you, have you ever, ever had to do a scene where you're making out with one of them, and then, you know, an hour later, you have to make out with the other one? Funny you should ask. It, um, it's what I call the love train. And I love train! Passions likes to, uh... Yeah, love it. Board. Yeah. <laughs> they like to have uh, fantasies a lot of with Ethan right. and Gwen, where yeah. I'll be with Gwen, and then I'll yeah. see Teresa's face, and vice versa. So, uh... You have Lindsay and Liza literally lined up at the foot of my bed in the morning, you know, and, all right, Liza, go in. We do our thing. Right. And Lindsay just watches and takes some notes, and she goes in and does her thing. And it's a tough gig. But, it is you know, a tough I job to get going there. I've got to do my job. It's a really tough no, job. No, you've got to be happy because Precious the Orangutan is finally gone. Yeah. I know. No, everybody at Passion was like, oh, God, we're You ask the every Passion's actor. Yeah, that because that's my favorite thing. He, yes. He was put in my dressing room for like a week. You're kidding. I had a short hiatus, and I knew it when I came back. You knew he had been there? Oh, I knew. He left How his... were the telltale signs? Stank and stunk and smell and... Really? really? That was yeah. like when well... Lisa shared my dressing room for a week. <laughs> oh. oh, I still can't get that smell Just out of there. stank of Chanel and... Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Something like and... that. <laughs> No. Now, you've been married. We both got married at the same time. We were just talking about stage. You've been married two years now? Uh, yeah, two years and a couple weeks. Congratulations. Yeah. Congratulations. Any, uh, any children in the future? We were talking a little bit yeah. about it. Oh, Good. there she is. Yeah. I look uh, happy, huh? Yeah. Oh, great. Oh, there she, she is. She's a dancer, right? She is. She's an extremely talented dancer. Real real. That's the, in the context that I met her. She was As dancing in the show Joseph. Oh, that's right. Oh, that's an even better one. You did tons of musical theater. <laughs> Yeah. You've done tons. I, I've, I've tons. been singing and performing yeah. my whole life, so, you know, marrying a dancer was not a, a large stretch for me, but 
Much to my surprise, domestication is it's a very cool thing. Yeah. Well, when you're ready, you want to come back yeah, and sing for us. Definitely. Oh, I'd love to. Yeah. I will. Thank you for joining us today. Yeah. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.